The struts within the infinite socket are made out of a thermoformable carbon fiber. So you can heat up our struts and we can change this surface contour over and over and over again. It's one of the many reasons why we call it the infinite socket. In this case, what we need to do is remove our brim and you'll need to remove your strut cover, or your strut sleeve, move it out of the way and expose your carbon fiber. Let's say that we want to bring in this portion of the brim and we want to make an angular change right here. What we're going to do is not just hit this strut with the heat gun here, we actually want to heat up a wide range of the strut itself. And as you move the, the heat gun around, you're going to want to move it around in circles or whatever your technique may be, but make sure that you're applying a nice even heat over a broad area, much more broad than where you want your contour. Now in this case, this is a lanyard socket that we'll use for demo purposes, but if we're going to be using a seal-in socket, you want to make sure that after you've removed everything out of the way and you're ready to heat up, you want to have some sort of barrier protecting your cup. If you heat up your strut and you forget to protect your cup, your cup can be damaged that way. We want to make sure we don't do that. Once we've got our strut exposed, and I'll use this demo as a, as a tool here, once we've got our strut exposed, we're going to hit it with a heat gun and then we're going to be able to make the contour that we want. Well, we've got it heated up to where we want it, and you notice that we can really have a lot of flexibility in the shape of that strut. You've got a ton of adjustability built in here. And all you'll need to do is just hold it in position and allow it to cool for about a minute or so, and it'll be ready to go. But it's really, really easy to create these changes with a, a heat gun.